So here's a question for you. Do you have one of these nearby? Do you even know what it is? This is an automated external defibrillator, or an AED, and many say that it can save lives. In fact, last night at 11, a Barberton father told us that it could have saved his son's life if it had been nearby. Instead, Josh Miller died 12 years ago. He collapsed from sudden cardiac arrest during a football game. And new this morning, On Your Side investigator Sarah Buddison introduces you to a woman who says an AED did save her life. I was the most peaceful, peaceful place I can ever imagine being. Christy Nelson is describing what she experienced when she died. I went 62 minutes without a heartbeat. It was October 18, 2006, when Christy collapsed outside Akron Children's Hospital. She had suffered sudden cardiac arrest. She uh, had an arrest and was found to be in this dangerous heart rhythm and that requires, uh, you know, just like you see on the TV shows, that, that requires uh, shocks to try to resuscitate and, and bring the heart rhythm back. Christy had no warning, no health problems. Her life was saved by more than an hour of CPR and shocks from an AED, an automatic electronic defibrillator. I had 13 shocks, which is a lot of shocks for somebody. Those shocks restored Christie's heart rhythm and started a recovery that has beaten all the odds. I was in a coma and they gave me a less than 5% chance of ever waking and guaranteed severe brain damage. Needless to say, here I am. Christy now has a five-year-old daughter and is friends with the firemen who helped save her. These are the guys that helped mommy. All of them advocates of more widespread availability of automatic electronic defibrillators, AEDs. I mean, the shocks are sincerely a vital part as to why I'm here today. On your side, in Akron, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison. And Christy Nelson now has an implanted defibrillator, and she says that her daughter Emily wants to be a heart doctor when she grows up.